Ni hao, konnichiwa. Welcome to our next episode of Balas Water Treatment System BWTS using Purimar from Samsung. So today we're going to discuss about ballasting in pumping in and the ballast water treatment system. So first of all, let's discuss about ballasting, pumping in, and unloading of cargo. So we have here a vessel. So it is submerged on seawater. So in order to have stability of the vessel, we need to load and unload and then pump in and pump out seawater. So for today, we are going to discuss about pumping in. So we have here a water ballast tank and we have also a cargo hold. So during pumping, pumping in, so we are going to pump seawater inside your water ballast tank. So we have here also your cargo hold. So during pumping in or ballasting, we are going to unload our cargo. So when we unload our cargo in order to have stability of the vessel, we need to pump in seawater inside your water ballast tank in order to have the stability of the vessel. First, let's go with the basic. For ballasting, we pump the seawater from your sea chest going to your ballast tank. So this is the basic. So we pump the seawater from your sea chest going to your ballast tank. Now, using the ballast water treatment system B WTS. So first, is we're going to use the filter. So it will be passed to the filter, particles in mud at 50 microns will be filtered here. And then filtered seawater will go to your ballast tank. So that's, that is the first system that we have through filtration. So seawater will be filtered going and then it will go to your ballast tank. Next process using the ballast water treatment system is we use the TRO sampling and the electrolysis to inject sodium hypochlorite. So, the inside the ballast tank, the seawater should be have a TRO of 2.5 to 3.0 ppm. So, we get a sampling here, send it to TRO, and then with your electrolysis, we will inject here the sodium hypochlorite through your main ballast line. We inject the sodium hypochlorite in order to maintain the TRO at 2.5 to 3.0 ppm. So this ballast water treatment system, we use the three system. First by filtration at 50 microns. Second, we do the sampling at TRO. Third, through electrolysis, we inject the sodium hypochlorite to maintain the seawater inside your ballast tank at a TRO of 2.5 to 3.0 ppm. Okay. Next, we're talking about the filter. So let's discuss a little bit about the inside the filter. So we have here the seawater. We have the filter inlet. So seawater will come to your filter inlet and then goes out to your filter outlet. Okay. So inside the filter is we have the filter element. So the particles in mud at 50 microns will be filtered by our, our filter elements. But during the process, so more than 50 microns, so the, it will clog on our filter element. So we have here to start up the back flushing system. So this is an automatic back flushing system. So when are we going to have the, this system? Number one, back washing by difference of pressure, inlet high pressure, outlet is low pressure. So when we have high pressure in your inlet and low pressure in your outlet, the system is going to start up. So how do we do that? So we have here a back washing pump and we have here a brush from your filter outlet. So it will, the seawater will pump and then it will clean our filter element and throw away more than 50 microns to our board. So again, 
we use the same water from your filter outlet using the back washing pump and then it will clean the filter element and then it will throw more than 50 microns to going to overboard so we pump seawater clean our filter element and then more than 50 microns will be pumped to overboard so this is our filter element and also we have number two we have the preset timing so every four minutes so the automatic back flushing will also pump out going to overboard so there are two systems that we have next electrolysis so electrolysis we have the main control panel the electrolyzing the gas separation and the injection control so how what we do during electrolysis so we use the seawater okay we pump the seawater through your electrolyzer your e electrolyzer will se separate the chemical hydrogen gas and sodium hypochlorite so by electrolysis hydrogen gas and sodium hypochlorite will be separated and the hydrocyclone is going to separate the hydrogen gas using the blower it will be blown through your open area and we are going to use the liquid sodium hypochlorite and inject that to your main ballast tank so through electrolysis we were able to produce the sodium hypochlorite to inject to your main ballast line. Okay, let's go back with the piping diagram. Ballasting pumping. So we pump the seawater from your sea chest going to the ballast tank. Okay, so we have here your new pipeline. So the seawater will pass through the filter and then it will go to your ballast tank. So the seawater must have, uh, must have a TRO of 2.5 to 3.0 ppm. So we get some sampling of your seawater here going to your TRO. And then from your electrolysis, so we inject here the sodium hypochlorite from electrolysis. So we inject the sodium hypochlorite, mix that with your seawater, and then through your TRO, so we can maintain the seawater inside your ballast tank with a TRO of 2.5 to 3.0 ppm. So again, we have the ballast water treatment system, three system, by filtration, by sampling of TRO, and then by injection of, of sodium hypochlorite in order that our seawater inside the ballast tank will have a TRO of 2.5 to 3.0 ppm. So if we have the 2D, we have also the 3D. So we pump the seawater from your sea chest, then going to your filter. So particles in mass at 50 microns, so you be filtered here, passing to your flumeter, and then going to your ballast tank. So the seawater and ballast tank must have a TR of 2.5 to 3.0 ppm. So we continue to do the sampling, going to your TRO. And through electrolysis, we inject now the sodium hypochlorite to your main ballast line. So injecting sodium hypochlorite will maintain the seawater at a TRO of 2.5 to 3.0 ppm. So again, we have three process by filtration, by sampling, and also by injecting chemical to your main pipeline. In order to have the seawater inside your ballast tank at a TRO 2.5 to 3.0 ppm. So we are from Nippon Maritime Display here in Japan. So we do 3D scanning. Also we do the 3D modeling. So we design ballast water treatment system and also EGCS or scrubber. What's the advantage of using the 3D model? First is it's very easy for the crew to understand the ballasting and deballasting system. And also during installation, 
it is very helpful for the CPR. Okay, so they can see the 3D model in all position, in all direction. You can zoom in, zoom out, or you can turn. Okay, you can see the details near the filter unit. So if you have any question, any comment, just leave it below. So for today, this is our ballast water treatment system from Pure Mark. Thank you. Chishi, arigato.